Okay, question seven. Mrs. Smith gave her students a history test. The bar chart shows the information about the students' marks. Now, the word frequency uh, just means how many, or it's how many. So what we can tell from this, we can say that how many kids got 10 marks? Well, four kids. How many kids got 11 marks? Well, three kids. How many kids got 12 marks? Well, two kids. How many kids got 13 marks? Five kids. And how many kids got 14 marks? Three kids. Okay, sorry for that interruption, it was the phone. Okay, taking the call, let's move on. Uh, part A, write down the number of students who got 10 marks. Well, four students got 10 marks, we can see there. Going on to the next one, write down the mode. Now, the mode, you should know your mode, mean, median, um, and range. The mode is the, uh, the uh, thing that happened the most often. What was the um, outcome that was most often? Well, 13 marks was the most often. Okay, so 13 marks. Now, it's very important here, don't make a mistake. Don't say that the mode is five. That's how many times it happened. The mode is the thing uh, that happened the most. Okay, so it's very important you remember it's 13 is the answer there, not five. An easy mistake to make. Which two marks have the same frequency? We're looking at the graph, clearly 11 marks and 14 marks. So 11 and 14. Work out the range. Now the range is simply the biggest, okay, subtract the smallest. Now it's the biggest result, take away the smallest result. So therefore, the biggest re result, the biggest mark was 14, and you subtract 10, which is four. Now, be very careful here. Again, don't write, I don't know, five take away two is three. It's not, the, the range isn't about the frequency, it's about the range of marks. Think about it as a, it, in a class, what's the range of marks in the class? Well, the highest kid got 14, and the kid who got the least got 10, okay? So it's 14 take away 10 is four. How many students did the test? Well, it's a simple adding game. It's four plus three plus two plus five plus three. So it's four plus three plus two plus five plus, what did I say, three. And just make sure you don't make a mistake. It's a non-calculated paper. I would do three and two is five. Okay, then you've got the other five plus three plus four. Five and five is 10. And then you've got four and, and three is seven. So it's clearly 17. Okay, just double check that and make sure you don't make any mistakes. So it's, it's a nice seven marks.